unmuting. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, so... Uh... Uh, may I have copy speed? Oh, sure, sorry. <laughs> Silly Remy. All right, so... Or that button, there we go. All right, so... Last stream, we finally had, uh, what was it, Mina reach level 20 and get Zing. So now, yep. uh, we're actually going to finally uh, conduct a raid on Palais de Leon. Time to try to take on the Marquis de Leon. This is the Great Palais de Leon. Alright, so we need... Oh, I don't know what we need Oh, to. hello. C come quietly or there will be trouble. This! A wind enough like you can stop the mighty Ragnar McRyan. Holy crap. He fucking murdered them! Oosh! Your appearance, your dress, it's just who I was expecting it to be. The legend was right. So Ragnar McRyan finally manages to find the chosen hero. I traveled far and wide to find you, Solo. All over the world, I've been. Know that news the time. Not that now's the time for me to be complaining of I can fit, mind ya. Inside this room here is one of the evil monsters out to destroy the whole world. Let's break the door down together and show them what we're made of, shall we? In we go! Alrighty. You! You have no business being here! Sorry, you were saying? I'll take care of things here. You go after Maquette de Leon solo. Hurry! I am Marquis de Leon. Zorro the Manslayer has appointed me ruler of this land. Oh, I see we have met before. You are the girls who came for my henchman Polzak, not? Rather unfortunate name, that. I will get to inform you that he is no longer here. Quel dommage. But the timing is perfect. The anyway was becoming too much for me. Now, I shall show you just how feeble you humans really are. And you will feel the anger and hatred for the goddess that she created such a worthless race. Alright, Marquis de Leon. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna try to find where in, where in this guide uh, is uh, so far. Marquis de Leon. Monsters. Doo -doo. Ooh. Oh, you mind what? scrolling a bit? Bouts have characters who that aren't oh, the love of God guide. Ah. 
Ah. Can you hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Good. Because the guide page is not responding. Oh, fun. <sighs> oh, boy. That's actually kind of... So. Yo, God, do you mind fucking working with me? Here we go, here we go, here we go. So he has a ton of HP. Mina should be a main healer. Frost attacks two times per turn. Gotcha. I did realize I probably have the hero have the hero focus on normal attacks. Ah ha ha. It hits hard. Yeah, no kidding. Uh have the hero focus on normal attacks. Frizzle. Actually. him cast snub on Maya. Why are you casting snub on Maya? Well, I already casted snub on Solo, and it certainly helped with uh, protecting against uh, the magic. Oh yeah, I forgot this boss had magic. Uh, let's see. Snub on Mina. Is that Mina heal solo? Attack with Elena. Oh. It also works if you're trying to heal a character. Ugh. Yeah. I did not think that that would be the case, but eh. All right, well, in that case, uh, mid heal on Elena. Ah, uh, all the ones Mina has are antidotal herbs, not medicinal herbs. Damn! Critical hit! Getting some good use out of Frizzle. Solo's almost dead.
5,100 experience points. Yay! Solo is now level 20. HP by 9. MP by 6. Plus 4, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. Elena is level 21. HP plus 10. Plus 6, plus 7, plus 4, plus 1, plus 4. Big agility boost. Uh, Kirill is level 20. Uh, 6, 4, plus 2, plus 3, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. Borya is level 20. 6, 10, plus 1, plus 3, plus 2, plus 4, plus 4. Torneko is level 22. HP by 9. Plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2. Marquis de Leon drops a treasure chest. Suit of full plate armor. Oh, this is... This is... This is not possible. What is the meaning of this? You must be... We, oui. I have been blasé. You are the hero they say will defeat the Lord of the Underworld. Huh. A true hero <coughs> would have already have disposed of Zoro the. <coughs> what on? What's going on? And where am I? I have the strangest feeling I was talking in some foreign language just now. That was incredible, Solo. You really are a hero, eh? But that was just the first step to stopping the evil that's threatening our world. The fight is now over yet. I'm going to join up with you to save the world from being destroyed. It's the least I can do, laddie. And we finally join with Ragnar and his fabulous mustache. I'll be waiting for you out in the wagon. All right. Lord, you defeated the Marquis. Oh la la, I don't... I mean, please don't hurt me. The Marquis forced me to be his Chancellor. And he forced me to speak like that. Uh, if only I wasn't such a coward, I could have helped you all. Wait, perhaps I still can. Did you know that Balzac has taken up residence in Zamoksva? Well, that helped, didn't it? Zamoksva. Hello, I am a globetrotter called Healy. I just saw my friend Ragnar goo by with a great big smile on his face. Tell him I hope his globetrotting goos well. And make sure he doesn't get squished by anyone. And tell him I ooze him one. Alrighty, so before we go to the Moscow, there are chests in the castle we can grab. Alright. <laughs> Including, if my sister's right, <coughs> one that has a magma staff. Ooh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. And yes, it's a great weapon for Maya. <coughs> And Mina looked on jealously. <laughs> you want the reason that Mina gets the hero's uh, dominant side every time they sleep? Because Maya's the one that keeps getting all the ch all the presents. <laughs> 
They say there is a new town set up in the desert near Zavmoksva to the north. I thought maybe I could see it from here, but quel dommage, it is too far away. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, uh... Uh... Uh, where are the chests again? I don't remember. This is guy said you could get these times around this point. Huh. I didn't see any in this castle, so... Okay, let me check the guide again. Uh, so, blah, 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 blah. Uh, da, 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 da. Da -ba -da -ba -da -do. No, it's not <clears throat> in this castle. It just said this section has those items. Oh, hmm. So I'd have to look at one of the previous castles I've been to to see. Um... I think it's in Zamov. I think it's in Zamovska. Zamovska, yeah. Uh, well, first, let's go ahead and heal. Yeah. I'm surprised the Solo survived that fight. I hope you're ready for a much, much more difficult fight than that. Oh, uh, boy. All right, uh, save states. Balzac's evolved. Balzac has evolved even further. Oh, right. Uh, I just remembered. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, nobody else can wear that iron apron. Uh, I have full plate armor already, so I assume... Yes, Ragnar can wear it. Also, I love this new music. Let's give the rest of the medicinal herb to Elena to hold on to. Oops. Alright, I guess I have maxed out her inventory. Uh, <coughs> while we're at town, I think I'll go ahead and stockpile some more medicinal herbs. I have 22,000 G. I am not exactly hurting for money right now, so I might as well. Stockpile so many medicinal herbs.
There we go. 99 medicinal herbs in the bag. 99 medicinal herbs. <laughs> you take one out, heal the hero. 98 medicinal herbs in the bag. Flamethrowers, okay. Silly question. Um, there isn't anything involving like map completion in this game, right? Like there aren't any rewards if you like complete the whole map or something. No, 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 no. Eh, figured I'd ask. Because I think I remember. Oh, why is he doing a shaky stretch? Because I think I remember a couple of the DS uh, Final Fantasy games having something like that, where it's like. I remember. <laughs> I remember Dragon Quest Nine had some accolades, like a series of accolades you could get, uh, depending on like how you completed the game. Ah. Uh. Like, there was a. Uh, Beat the final boss after getting after finishing the uh, beastery. Beating the final boss uh, with certain number of fights, with less than a certain number of fights, certain times. I got a I got sleeper on the job, which meant that I took the longest amount of time required to beat the final boss. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. Lugworms and like, devilfish. Fuck you, game! I had quests to do. Hmm. The boss fights were hard, so I had to grind. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Whoosh. Yeah, that, that, that's honestly one reason why I think you. The reason why I think you love this franchise. Full of character and charm like that. Yeah. We've seen some of that already. There's just more and more to have. Okay, the animation's a little slow because it also has to animate the water because we're at sea. I'm not gonna lie, Remy. <clears throat> I know of a few boss names that you're gonna love in uh, Dragon Quest Nine. Oh boy. Namely, White Knight, uh, who is the right knight, corpse, basically. Ah. Uh. The the raging contagion. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty good. I'm guessing they specialize in poison or something. It's boss foreign, yes. Master of Nutten, who is a corrupted form of Abbey of like Abbot Jack of All Trades Abbey. So Abbot Jack of All Trades becomes Master of Nutten. Okay, that is amazing. <laughs> it is! It really is! And how can we forget Dreadmaster? The Dreadmaster! Looks like a magical boss, but really isn't? By 
by the way, Massive Knight is the boss you need to beat before you unlock the ability to change your classes. Ah. Uh, okay. Because Aldridge Abbey, Aldridge Abbey is a place that's been in a few games. <coughs> <clears throat> and it's where you can change your uh, classes. That's pretty good. Also, spin- and Jack is in, Jack is the one who lets you do it. Ah. Uh, Spinchillas. Uh, what were you saying? Spinchillas! Oh, I love them! There's one more evolution of these in some of the games. Whirly girlies. Okay, that's pretty good. Actually, it is. Isn't it nice? Is it good? Whirly girlies in 9 and 11 are enemies that can drop. Or at least, no, in 9 are enemies that can drop pretty bad seeds that uh, raise the charm stat. Yeah, instead of giving you seeds of. making up seeds of charm, they made a flower that you consume instead of pretty Betsy. Oh, they're just straight up immune to fire spells, aren't they? Yeah, I think it's just that they're resistant to magic. Because these are like ice. These guys are ice. Well, uh, Maya might be dead. It's okay, you've got Zing. Can I have my hand back, silly? Uh, hand back. Actually, you know what? Uh... Lance, Lance is like, sat on my left, belly up, gripping my right hand with the most Vietnam stare I've ever seen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, I got the mid heels off in time. Well, they, uh. Bang made contact with them, so. Bang, bang, bang. Not gonna allow that shit, guy. <laughs> Alright, so you've met all three party female party members in this game. And gotten a good feel of their personalities. I wanna ask you, which one is which one am I most like? Which one are you most like? Uh, hmm. Hmm. I have... I, I want to say a toss-up between Mina and Elena. Well, well, if the hero is you, then we know who's the favorite wife. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maya still needs a heal. Bang. And mm. Mina still needs a mid heal. And let's just finish him off. There we go. This is Zalinograd. In the past, we were a castle town of Moskva, uh, Zamoksva. But now all castle people is disappeared. Oi, what is becoming of our land? Right. Uh. Go and save. Yeah. Okay. So there should be. You a... just beat. 
you just need some RP, and we're about to fight Balzac. Yep, okay. You talk of Balzac is Balzac, as in the demon Bal. Ah. Uh. Oh. And boy, does he look up to that! <laughs> so that's the end, so now we go to the, uh, the church. I just imagine Ragnar or Torneko being like, wait, that's an extra A, so does that mean he has bigger balls? Okay. <laughs> Ragnar would not. Torneko, yes. Tornigo would make the joke and Ragnar would just elbow him in the rib. What? It's true! <laughs> I mean, it's a valid question. Should I take the opportunity to uh, show off uh, Ragnar now that uh, I have him in the party? No, 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 no. I mean, if you want, you can switch out Maya because you're definitely going to need the bulk. Yeah, fair enough. Maya has Ragnar to. Is exact Ragnar is exactly how he was at the end of his own chapter, which means that he is vastly under-leveled for this, and you would have to grind him up. Hold on. I... Again, can only be done in the overworld. Oh, right. Totally forgot yeah, about that. Let's, let's give it a shot with this party, because Ragnar's too under-leveled. Okay, so... Oh, you me. Okay, whatever. What's that? I couldn't hear. You were cutting out. Oh, as I was saying, uh, let's not, because Ragnar is the level he was at the end of his own chapter. Okay. If memory serves me right. He uh, is not caught up. Yeah, he's only level 15. Yeah, yeah, and this boss is even harder than the Marquis. All right. I assume he's in the castle. Yes. All right. I don't see anything else going on here, so. I really like that this cube over my encounter. That would have been great. <laughs> this castle belongs to us now. The monsters. The monsters is ours. And Balzac is the new ruler. Alright, so we still can't get those chests because uh, that floor is on fire. Leave now, humans, or prepare to die. S <laughs> he he! Perfect timing! I was feeling a bit peckish. Balzac works us to the bone, you know. It's him you have to be picking a fight with, not me. What? I thought these monsters, for the most part, are just kind of... ...living like humans did? Although they're definitely more evil, they're... Like, if they didn't have the, this leadership, they probably wouldn't be doing as much as they are. Eh, yeah, banality of evil and all that. At least I think that's what it's called. Uh, let's see. Ooh, actually, uh, before I go any further, I just need to check on something. So be right back. Don't you?
There we go. Back. All right. All right. So let's see. That's a lot of hoodoo gurus. Oh, nice! I got advantage. We are here to cast our spells. Uh, let's see. Uh, says sizzle. Whoosh! Oh, the great and mighty wizard. Made a mistake. <laughs> All right, well, uh, bang. Snooze? Doubt it'll work, but. To make them EP. Hold them for the EP. It actually you. worked. They're all asleep. <clears throat> Dang, Elena got a crit. 153 damage. Ragnar is level 16. HP increased by 15. Ooh. He's getting pretty tanky. Yeah, Ragnar got, Ragnar gets a ton of HP. <laughs> Elena's be like, hold on. If we're lucky, they might not have found it. Solo, come here. Solo looks at the bookshelves. There's a book of theology entitled Faith and Prayer. Something seems to be hidden between the pages. It's a secretly drawn... No! No! <laughs> Princess, why are you showing it to him? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> he just bangs his blushing face in his hands, Elena not really getting why it'd be embarrassing. Ooh, rhino throat. Actually, that's a really cool design. I love them so much. Uh, frizz. Frizzle. I love the rhinos. I love them so much. They is, they is adorable. Continuing my trend of finding weird stuff cute. <laughs> To be fair, Toriyama's art style, he has a tendency to make things somehow simple, yet detailed, if that makes sense. Uh, Kastus. Oh, that one missed. Come on. Rhino throw up is put to sleep at least. Uh, frizz, frizzle, Casnus, and attack. <coughs> Critical hit from Elena. The Rhino Thorpe is down. Mm. All right, next floor. Oh boy, here we go. 
<laughs> Human imbeciles. This is my castle now. Oh? I have a sense of deja vu. The daughters of Mahabala, no? Do not defeat me again. You do not recognize me, perhaps? It is I, Balzac. But I am stronger than before. Now they call me Balzac. <laughs> Regards the result of my evolution in extraordinaire. This is the closest you will ever come to seeing the form of a god. There is only one. No. In this form, I am stronger even than Zoro the Manslayer himself. Listen well, my friend. I know how you must miss your father. But soon, you will join him. Though I says this, yet Zoro is implied to be strong enough to kill the King of Hell. Even without evolving. Hey, you wanna know who the King of Hell is? His father! So is Lily, the half human son of the King of Hell! And that is saying that you're stronger than Lucifer's direct child! Uh, let's like see. Like Lucifer's. Imagine saying that! I'd say that's a bit ballsy. Uh, Come on, you, you... Implied when It's also implied when you run into Saro next that he absolutely could have killed you right then and there. Oh, yeah, he hits like a truck. I love Balzac being like, I'm stronger than Saro. Imagine if Balzac won, but he... But his ego, like, like what he said here, got over to Saro, and Saro just came up to him and, like, just turned him into the fucking lizard sashimi. It, it, it'd be like the equivalent of that one, uh, what was it, uh, DBZ Abridged thing, where it's like, Lord Beerus, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, Frieza, bringing my A game. <laughs> Just anybody, I I any villain in a video game or anime having a big mouth moment. Yeah, no, that that is satisfying. I'll have Solo heal himself. Actually, no. Frizzle. Uh, Mina mid heal Solo and Elena attack. How much HP did you say uh, Balzac had? A ton. The guy doesn't outright say what his HP is, just that he is like the Marquis, except even stronger. Uh, let's have Mina mid heal herself. And he's dead! Beat him on your first... What?! <laughs> I thought he would have had more. Really?! <laughs> Solo's level increases to 21. HP 9, MP 6. You gonna be okay there? I hope not. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see, Maya is 22, Mina is 21. You keep flying by the sand of your pants and keep winning. <laughs> Elena is 22. Ooh, big agility boost. Holy crap. Yeah, Elena gets a ton of agility. I keep telling you that, babe. Yeah, no, 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 no. But this one's even bigger. This one's the biggest yet. Plus eight. Uh, Ragnar gained a level. Kirill is level 21. Kirill learned Zing. Yeah. Boria is level 21. Boria learned Kasap. It's multi-target sap. Yep. Uh, Torneko is level 23. Go, 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 to Torneko. Go, go, Torneko. Yeah. No. This is, is impossible. Nothing can surpass this evolution I have undergone. The secret of evolution will save me from... This experiment has officially failed. I must inform Lord Sorrow immediately. Looks like the secret of evolution does require an armlet of transmutation after all. Only the armlet of transmutation can amplify the dark energy enough. Once we have the armlet of transmutation, the secret of evolution will be ours for the taking. Then finally, it will be our time. The era of the Dark One's rule. <laughs> and I am saving states. That's it! You can now go into the treasure room! There's a flame blocking it before we can now get. Seed of strength. Did you get? Seed of strength, so that's the hero. A flute of revelation. That is the item you need to continue the story. There's the magic staff. Of course, the magic staff for dear Maya. Who got it? Who got that item in the inventory? Was it Maya? Uh, Ragnar. I'll have to. Time to do some item shuffling. Uh, let's see. Transfer. Don't, no, wait, 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 wait. Move I don't. I'll go for inventory first. Oh, I can transfer. I can get that um, okay. moon warp bulb out of her inventory. There we go. Uh, okay. Flute of Revelation. Does it matter who uh, has it? No. no. Okay. So. so that just with leaves... this Flute of Revelation, we have to go to Strothbile. I just realized this is this is mean. Uh, you know, here. It's my turn. And then Maya's just yeah. looking all indignant, and she's like, Bitch! <laughs> Alright, so we also heard there's a town being made in the desert near here. Uh, he did say that. We might as well head out that way, see what we can You can do anything there. Abracadabra doors. I am so so glad you finally get to say that! 
All right. Uh, I'm guessing. It's Mag all that stupid pun. Uh, let's have Mina mid heal. Whoa! Okay, that was a pretty cool animation. Oh, oh, good thing I save stated because I forgot to heal between battles. Okay, good. Alright. Any other enemies I should uh, find in the castle? Uh, none that I can remember. That was just the last of them? Okay. Uh, back to town to heal up. The castle up. Be under monster control forever. Yeah, they said there was a town being formed in the desert near here, correct? Uh, yeah. Let's go see what we can do about that. All right, uh, heading to the priest to save. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Hey! <laughs> Desert near here. Oh, wait. That must mean down there. Flamethrowers! Uh, let's see. Bang. Oh, duh. Oh, wait, no. Okay, that guy's down. Always good to trim down the cannons. I don't even remember when I started saying that. Nor do I. I feel like that's something you start saying after we got together. I think so. Uh, it's it's been a wild six and a half years. Yeah. Uh, desert is this way apparently. Malrus. Okay, that's a pretty good name. Damn, critical hit. The Desert Bazaar done finished and move on. We traders would like to thank y'all for your patronage. Howdy, y'all. It's been a while, ain't it? It's me, Hank Hoffman Jr., remember? I done finished my apprenticeship with old Ilton, and now I'm a setting up by myself. Figured I might as well follow in the old coot's footsteps and uh, set me up a boom town like dear old Mintos. I can't very well just make a town out in this here wilderness all on my lonesome now, can I? 
which is why I might ask you, uh, Globetrotten Farm, it's a little favor. Can you get out there and make find some folks with itchy feet and tell them about the newest town in town? I seem to recall hearing about someone who was just itching for a new life hanging around in the church down there in a uh, little old latte affair. If we can get us together a sizable crowd on this here prairie, we'll be able to build us a mighty fine metropolis in no time flat. Okay. Oh, shall we do that? All right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no, he seems to be the only one here. Yeah. All right. Uh, back... so, uh, shall we head to Lizai Fair? Yeah. On the way. Also, when do you have to go into work again? Um, it's an hour earlier than usual. So this, uh, if my math is right, the stream will end by three. I'll probably head off to work at three thirty. Men of War! Sizzle. Whoosh! 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 I, I'm having too much fun. Yeah, <laughs> I've noticed. Ooh, ooh, piece of rare candy. Please on landmine. Damn! Lena got a critical. She always gets crits. Hmm. All right. Ah. Okay. Silly question I just realized. Yes. We have a town here called Laissez Faire. Are there any towns in this or any other games in the franchise called Savoir Fair? I do not believe so. Damn it! Missed opportunity. All right, laissez faire. Uh... Oh, you would say it's missed opportunity. It is! Let's see. Peace be with you. I am an itinerant. Oh, none. Set up my own. Da, 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 da. I find myself a fledgling settlement somewhere. I'm sure I could be of great use to its inhabitants. Do you want to tell her about Hank Hoffman Jr.'s frontier town? Yes, let's do that. So, this Mr. Hoffman is establishing a town of his own. Hmm, my humblest thanks. I shall make my way there forthwith. They go back and they're like, you know, <laughs> Hank's just like, hey, you found someone. Was it any trouble finding her? Oh no, none. <laughs> and that's when Maya and Mina both smack so upside the head. <laughs> Single dev devil fish, and we've got advantage. Yay!
right. Uh, lugworms. There we go. Out of there. I've been waiting for y'all to come on by. I've just been shooting the breeze with that there sister you done sent Don down here solo. And there's a few folks in towns I done invited myself too. Looks like this place is finally starting to get a hustling and a bustling. Well, it still ain't nothing much more than a cow shed and an outhouse right about now. <laughs> Solo's just like, good because I need to use the bathroom. You just gotta help me on bringing the folks a flocking into town now, Solo. And I done thought of the perfect way to get him down here, too. I can't very well stand around out here and tell y'all about it. Drop on by my little house on the prairie when you got yourself a minute. Ah, I see what you did there. I done built me a little place just nearby. Y'all come on by there and we'll have us to talk all about it. I'll need me a little so... while to make ready for y'all, so... Just you mosey round town in the meantime. See y'all in a little while. This is your town. Ah. A bunny tail. Again, this was not new. Yeah, what? Bunny tail. That's an accessory. Oh, God. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I gotta make it work. Uh. <laughs> I just imagine so looking at looking at Mina. She gives him the fucking angriest look. Looks at it. Looks at her. Just keeps thinking about it. <laughs> and Solo just looks at her with this big trollish grin, and he's just like, "I knew that outfit was missing something." You. <laughs> is it, it? It is in her inventory. That's hilarious. Yep. It makes whoever's wearing it luckier. Or is that just a tail? Equip. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. Uh. Oh. Mini metal. That darn Mina's rock. just like. I just imagine. I was imagining how you would treat me if I ever wore a bunny suit. <laughs> like that's just what Solo's doing. He's just like doting on her and teasing her. <laughs> that darn Rocky. From morning till night, he's out there in the field slaving away. We're in, here we are, newly married, and we're straight into the hard life. I guess it's in his nature. He always was a fighter. Oh, this is right. It's Halloween. I can wear my cat ears. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 
Hey, I'm Rocky. Mr. Hoffman invited me and my lady Adrian to move down here from the big city to start us a new life. All we gotta do is work hard and all our dreams will come true. All I want is for Adrian to be happy. Oh, goodness me. I know it's said that the sleepy fox seldom has feathered breakfasts. But is it not also true that one slumber invites another? I feel as if I have awoken from a slumber of 1,001 years. Oh, good day. And who might you be? Solo and esteemed companions. I am most honored to make your acquaintance. I am but a simple frog, who has by chance learned the language of humankind. Were you aware of the rumor that a magnificent castle once stood upon this very spot? Huh. I don't think anybody said that. Oh, yes. This surely was once a kingdom whose fortune was built on trade with distant lands. But now it is no more than the arid expanse you see before you. But you youngsters are aiding in the efforts to restore this humble hamlet to its former magnificence, are you not? I do little but while away my days in idleness here by this pond. Pray, come and speak to me again when the town is further restored. Right. So, I do want to bring up, there is there's only so much we can do with just the town, just like the set towns in this game for this town. Ooh, another mini metal. To fully restore this, you do need to access other games and other stuff. <laughs> You there, have you heard? I say yes, but I haven't even told you anything yet. Ah, fine, whatever. Remy. What? <laughs> I thought you were making a pun. Oh no, that, that's, the, that's the actual conversation I just had with this NPC here. Okay, so he has medicinal herbs, antidotal herbs, and chimera wings. Actually, is there anything I can sell? I think I have an extra iron apron. Ooh, take down on my growlites. What an amazing move. That's pretty good. <sighs> okay, joking about take down and your vendetta against the side, I'm actually not going to... I'm not going to use that. Uh, I have, uh, right, I have an extra poison moth knife. Uh, let's see. I have an extra iron armor on Ragnar. That's about it. I've got 25 grand. Not bad. Well, that'll be great for when we go to Themyscira. Alright. Okay, so... Hoffman and the, the nun just went back to... Ah! They went into this house over here. Guys, do you mind? I'm trying to raise up the moon! Alright. Oh, right. Hoffman's totally the, totally the type to try to flirt with a nun. Even though she's having none of that. Oh. Uh, oh, don't lie, Remy. You'd make that pun, too. I, I would. I'm just going, hey. Do, 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 do. Okay. What's Hoffman got? <clears throat> well, if it ain't little old Solo. I just got done finished getting everything ready. Well, Alright then, first thing we gotta do is give this place the kind of name 
will get folks flocking here like flies on fertilizer. I done had a few ideas myself, but I just can't settle on one for certain. Tell you what. Y'all have been helping me get the place together and all. I was about to let you decide. I'll rattle off a couple of my ideas, and y'all can tell me which one you like best. Here goes. Okay, well, first off, I thought about Solo Town. It's a mighty pretty name, ain't it? That just sounds egotistical. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what am I saying? That's a bit egotistical for us. Uh. Oh, us, fuck yeah. What's that? I was about to say, like, yeah, it sounds a bit egotistical, just like, still going, fuck yeah, I love a town named after me, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I just knew it. Hey, that's well. Solo town it is, then. Yeehaw! Alright, name it Solo town. <laughs> because we want it to be a town that stands alone. R Rami. What? <sighs> <laughs> Again, Solo just smiles at the pun, and Mina and Maya just glare at him before they smack him upside the head. <laughs> I like the idea of we're basically turning Solo into the goofy side of Goku. We're turning him into you. <laughs> into you and the sisters into the two halves of my personality. <laughs> now let's get down to the real business at hand. Truth of the matter is, I've been having me some chance encounters. I done me some reading on some mighty old books, thinking I might find some stuff us pioneers could make good use of. Seems that out there in the big old world, there's plenty of folks on the same quest as y'all are. Chance Encounters is all about grabbing a hold of them folks, shooting the breeze, learning a thing or two, making new partners while you're at it. And if we can send a few folks over and bring a few folks back from other places, our own town here will see the benefit, no mistake. So what do you say? You reckon you might want to pick a pioneering soul to send off ambassadoring? All right then. I'll get on and explain what this pioneering game's all about. Pioneer is a body handpicked by yourself to head on out into the world and learn all there is to learn from folks in foreign lands. When you send a pioneer on out there, you get a pioneer back from wherever you sent the varmint to. <coughs> that pioneer, well, they just settle on down and start making a new life for themselves here in Solo Town. Now, the more folks you get out there and have chance encounters with, the more folks you'll end up bringing in to populate this here fair city. And it goes without saying that the pioneers you send off to new towns will make useful citizens of themselves wherever they happen to end up, too. All right, now, let's get on and find you the perfect pioneer. First, you got to choose for yourself the type of vomit you want to send out there a pioneering. Remember, Solo, this suck will be representing your interests out there, so choose careful now. Oh. Okay. You can choose any type of character. Any recommendations? No, because we can't do this function, actually. Oh, right. This is one of those, uh... Mm. Yeah. Okay, now it's time to give your pioneer and pal the rootinest tootinest name, your Melancholy Muster. Wait, does this, this person never had a name? I am a nameless warrior. Carl. The walker of the world. <laughs> Your what name. Did you name him. Carl. <laughs> I am Carl. <laughs> Our friend Jimmy brought me here. <laughs> oh no 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 no! You know what? I could make it even funnier. What? In reference to Hydlide, the knight's name is Jim. Oh, Jimmy, you really let yourself go. Uh, 20s. <laughs> Pick a hobby. Uh...
smashing pots. Oh, so he's Link. <laughs> All right then. What are the words of greeting old Jim here will be taken out to the wide world? Galvast. Galvast. No, I was making Jimmy Neutron jokes. So I'm like, oh, he's gonna. Oh, got a blast! Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, hi there. Give, given that we're learning the era of shitty, greedy revivals, do you think I'm going to try to do that with Jimmy Neutron? Uh. With how scummy Nickelodeon was towards uh, Steven Hillenburg after his passing? Probably. I mean, we have a brand new Failed Outcasts show after the previous one ran itself into the ground. Yeah. Then again, I'm pretty sure that wasn't just Nickelodeon's fault. I'm pretty sure that was uh, Bitch Bartman's fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just suddenly yells, Hey, Jim! Get your sorry carcass down here right now! Solo needs your help! Jesus! Well, Jim's here and raring to go, so y'all just come by and holler whenever you want to get pioneering started. Uh, by the way, y'all can send your pioneer out to as many other places as you like, so don't go worrying about spreading them too thin. And old Jim will always be here ready to shoot the breeze with you whenever, no matter where you send the farm at. So don't you worry about that, neither. <laughs> you my kitty? Are you my sweet kitty cat, Mr. Lamb? You a sweet kitty cat, Mr. Lamb. Okay, that was that was pretty good. All Roller right. Roller cannon cat. Okay. Uh. And my costume. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's going on on this island over here? This here be Dun Plundering Hour. Okay, that's a good name. Alrighty, so long. Yeah. We have to head to Strauss Bible. Okay. Let's see. Our ancestors be pirates, are, But then one day they gave up the sweet trade and set up home here. And they left their booty hidden it deep in a waterfall somewhere in this big wide world. Folks say there's a liquid metal sword in amongst their lot too, are. Everybody's just that one old sailor guy from The Simpsons. Yar. Hello, what's down? Oh my god! Another pair of fishnet stockings. <laughs> well, the only person left to put those on is, is Elena! <laughs> my, my... Oh, yeah! Maya just looks over at Mina as if she's threatening her with the fishnet stockings, and Mina's just like, Don't you fucking dare! Meanwhile, Lena's pulling them on, and Kiro is dead. <laughs> Kiro's lying in a pool of his own nose blood. <laughs> Boria's just poking him with the walking stick. <laughs> you, you okay there, buddy? Worth it! All right, what can we get from the armor shop? Magic vestment. We can get... Oh, that's a downgrade for Mina, damn it. Uh, 
Ooh, Iron Shield. I'm going to be laying it. Alright, uh... I am the Cat Girl Witch! So, you're Blair from Soul Eater? I guess. Yeah, I got the witch robe on, got the cat ears and the cat tail. Uh, let's see. <laughs> and you've got the laugh. I've always had that laugh. Musk. The scent will attract monsters for a while until it runs out. Okay. These are the graves of our ancestors. Gentlemen of fortune they were. Oh, okay then, pirates. When the tide comes in at night, the gravestones are swallowed up by water, just like Davy Jones' locker. That's actually kind of hardcore. thing is, I don't know if the... Because I'm thinking about our fused team again, I don't know if the Raticate fusion is going to stick around. The Grimer absolutely is, because Muck's good, but... Uh, let's see. The Raticate half. Oh my god, if we get a Togekiss... Oh man, that would be amazing. The Cause Tom had that one of his randomized nuzlocks of the game. Oh yeah. Oh, the fishnet stockings actually would be pretty good for Elena because uh, that puts her defense over ninety. It also gets her way more attention from her boyfriend. <laughs> I know for a fact that by now she'd probably be dating Kiro. They, they'd probably be actually dating. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ragnar, Boria, and um, Torneko are just in the, the old man's club. Torneko's already married. Boria probably was married, but his wife is gone. And Ragnar doesn't care. Come on, Ragnar, you're approaching that age that you should start settling down. Ah! I've got this huge good second to me left. <laughs> Boria's just like, well, to be fair, I hear ladies like a man in uniform these days. <coughs> <laughs> All right. Um. It turns out the reason Ragnar will not retire is because he's getting affection from wenches. <laughs> I'd believe it. Uh, let's see. Powdery sword on the glugworms. Bang. Uh, let's see. Bang, 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 bang
bang bang. Well, my devil trigger. Yes, sir. Oh, like you didn't know that was coming. <laughs> I don't trigger around me. I'm gonna make a dick joke. <laughs> Not that kind of devil trigger. Too late! <laughs> uh, bang again. Enough of the hardest battle of this run. Catching the Snorlax. Oh boy. You're doing a Nuzlocke, you said, right? Nuzlocke catching rule. I abandoned the death clause, so it's not really a Nuzlocke anymore, but I'm still using the catching rules. Ah. This is the guy who sells TMs, whoops. Alright, uh, where am I supposed to head again? Strauss Bile. Uh, whereabouts is that? It's no! Incredible! Incredible ever! Okay, that's the... Ah. That's the tunnel leading to Endor. Men of War! My ear. Shut up. Hey, get off me, sneezy. More ass. <laughs> Level 18. Come on. Dick. Anyway, as I was asking, uh, whereabouts is Straw's Bile? I don't know. I told you that while I was sneezing. I couldn't hear because you were sneezing. Bum 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 Oh come on Snorlax Porth Runnel or Porth Trunnel.
They say you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but you're more than your average folks, ain't ya? Well, not as much. I don't miss much, me. Come on. Why do you miss Flash so often? How ironic. A move that lowers accuracy has low accuracy. <sighs> it's in orange health. Yellow health, whatever. I have 21 Great Falls left. 19 regular Pope Falls. Okay, that is an amazing name. I'm facing off against a Manta Ray type enemy called an Incinerator. Oh yeah, no, that's a good one. Bang. Got him? Yes, got! That's how it's on this. Let's see, it's over 808 pounds of food every day. You and me both, buddy. some animals that the internet has like given nicknames to like with manta rays it's either I think sea pancake or sea flap flap that's adorable and then of course you've got uh, otters being called river doggos oh, river doggos not one cut a hook. It's not, it's not a big deal. I have a plan. No, it cannot. All right, my plan is to go down to Fuchsia before I uh, take on Erica, just so I can use the move deleter there. <clears throat> uh, that's a good move, and also, there's just a lot of stuff you can do in Fuchsia. I mean, really, I just need to have a new Pokemon to use Cut, and I have Rafflesia to learn it, but Rafflesia already has Flash. Ah. Terror Nadans. Uh, yeah, ter Terror Nadans are beautiful, beautiful names. They've got whack! Ah, they're Terror Nadans! Oh, beautiful! Megas has immunity, bold nature, which isn't amazing, but... Megas. Torneco's level 24. Get Megas, uh, some new moves. Again, quick break, and then... It'll be... You can heal on big. No, he cannot. Oh, hey, there's a town over here. The 
there was a young elf girl here called Rose. She was very special. When she cried, her tears turned into rubies. And because the wicked humans were always trying to capture her for her tears, she used to cry an awful lot. Wait, what the hell are you? I, I ended up in... I ended up in the uh, the continent uh, on the east side of the map. Uh, you're way off. <laughs> Let's see. Why, Rose? Why? Frostbite is very north, is what I remember, okay? Uh, okay. If Lord Sodor didn't save her, she'd be dead by now. Killed by the humans. War! Welcome to Rose Hill, home of the dwarves. And a fine place oh to live. Oh my god, you. Remy? You said you didn't know where it was, so I was looking around. Alright, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. This is Sorrow's Town! <laughs> Rose Hill is like where Sorrow lives. Oh. Ooh. You are sequence. You are not just sequence breaking. I can afford the dragon's bane. And the dream blade too, but mostly dragon's bane. Uh, if you want. We gotta need to get more money before we go to Femiskyra. I'm just gonna tell you right now. The matter is right. Uh, the coast of Strathdale is the northern coast. So you need to search someplace that has like opening on the coast, like north, like the northern half, northern end. Uh. Okay. Falcon knife earrings. I can only afford one set. <sighs> And it's not worth it. I let you attack twice, but only has a power of one. Did you hear what I said before, love? Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that drops. Maya's stat considerably, so that putting it on her wouldn't oh, even yeah. be worth it. It only drops Mina and Elena as a little bit. Imagining Elena with the Falcon Knife earrings, oh boy. <laughs> she go unga bunga. You gotta take that as a no, you did not hear what I said. All right, fine. What did what did you say? Strathfield's coast is on the north. It's on the it. north. So that part. Just... That part I did catch. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get those for Elena. No, you no. Make it her twice. It's a waste of money. Oh, never mind. All right. Cause again, yeah, you get two attacks per turn, but it lowers your. Yeah, don't even bother going to that fucking tower. That is way. Re re I'm just looking. Re Give me a second. <laughs> fine, fight, fucking, fucking fight the boss. Not supposed to fight for three more fucking hours. I. Can't. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to. Oh, all right, all right. And I, you're getting on my case for it. Sorry. You're right. I. I... All right. Sorry, uh, uh Maya. 
Maya needs a heal. Plus side, I had enough money to get that Dragon's Bane, so it's like, hey, sequence breaking uh, for <sighs> came out on came out a little better than earlier. You could have gotten that elsewhere though. And plus, I was saying it was good you had so much money because Femascira is gonna be expensive. Uh, yeah, you now did. we don't have that money. said it was in the north, uh, specifically like north-north or just in the northern area? I, I'm trying to remember now. You see like, yes, actually, it's right around there. Right around here? That top, the, no, top, top of the map. Okay, near the top of the map. Near the top right. of the map, I believe that's where it is. All right, I'll have to go around. Where the hell are we? I'm like at the top of the continent, but uh, like I'm on the bottom side, so I'd need to go around to get to the top side. I uh, I was you hoping a sequence break didn't fuck us over. With all the encounters I've been getting, I'm definitely I... not supposed to go to Rose Hill that fuck fucking early. Before we fuck on Rose Hill, I really would. I uh, don't. I'm nervous now because you're not supposed to have gone there this early. I don't know if there's a bug because no one has ever done this. To my knowledge. I haven't. Uh, I haven't saved or save stated in a bit. Now that you mention it. Oh my god. My best bet is just to hope and pray that enough that there's no bugs. now level 23. Maya learns boom! Yeah. Alright, that's just... Da -da 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 -da. Ultraviolent Rays. That's also a pretty good name. actually dodged Elena's attack.
anglerfish. It didn't land on any of them, what? Oh, great. And now everybody... Oh, no. Okay. Mina didn't fall asleep. Actually, so if I could find a town, do, do, do. specifically a town with a church would be nice. More malruses. Let's see if we have better luck with uh, Boom on these guys. Level 22. Plus 2, plus 2, plus 1, plus 3, plus 3. Boria is level 22. Plus 6, plus 6. Plus 1, plus 3, plus 2, plus 5, plus 4. Uh, let's go ahead and... Huh! Two towns! Where the fuck are we? I'm on the top. Oh, it's yep. Okay. Oh, hello. Seed of life. Yeah, you could have gone that way earlier, but. Eh. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to this guy so that we can heal. I'm already back to just shy of uh, 11 grand. Alright, and I think I'll take the time to... Ah. Uh, actually, uh, let's go ahead and use that seed of life.
can use it. I think this would be a good opportunity to use that third save slot. Okay, apparently the last time I saved was at Hoffman's place. Um, That's not too far from where we were. You could have gone back to that. Yeah. Alternatively, it has been a while since we saved it uh, in slot two. Ooh, whatever. I'll save it in slot two just to be safe. that done. Some save states. Okay. Uh, who are we going to raid? And I have an idea of what to raid with. him in a bit, and uh, I believe today is when Queen Dizzy drops. Let's go ahead and raid Wanted Frankie, who is currently playing some Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, and we'll raid with hashtag Old Men Club. Just so I know, that was the last party member we picked up, right? There aren't any other party members that... Yes! Okay, so we've got everybody. Alright, uh... Wanted Frankie. Alright! Um... My work shift is going to be from 4 to 10, so if I do a if I do a night stream, it's going to be a late night stream. Um, MSO mentioned the Halloween event uh, on Pizza Tower. Don't know if I'll be able to... <sighs> Don't know if I'll be able to do that, but if I can't, uh, I do have some backup plans. All right. Sorry about getting on your case earlier. I I didn't I didn't mean to like I guess I used the wrong voice. I was trying 
I was, uh, I probably came off a little more aggressive than intended. Alright, let's go ahead and raid. Whatever, you're just gonna do it again. 